spend my time staring out the window at a girl in the middle of it all. I don't know her name, but her face remains the same. I blame myself for not going that way. What if I came your way? On this particular day well, I want to know you Hi, I'm Al Bangert and you are watching I Always Want to Do That, a show that is playing on SCTV, specifically focused on Situate residents. What happens is, veteran interviewer Mike Davis, who's coming up the walk shortly, is going to interview a Situate resident, Kevin Butler. Kevin has a very interesting story. You're going to hear all about magic today. And here comes Mike right now. Mike, hey, how are you? Hi, Al. Hey there, come Hi. on in, Mike. Hi, Mike Davis from Situate Community Television. All right, Mike, I recognize you. Uh -huh. Hi, thank you, thank you. Come on in. So, Kevin, uh, I understand that you're uh, retired. Absolutely, yes, yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, and when you retired, uh, you really didn't have a hobby, so you decided mm -hmm. that maybe you should acquire a hobby. And what did you end up picking up? Well, um, I retired and then I had my first year off and you know I was sort of doing a little bit of this or that trying to figure out what do I want to do and I like it and I didn't have a hobby as you said and I, I've always been interested in magic and the Society for American Magicians was having the uh, national convention in Boston at the John Hancock Hall and I was blown away. I said, wow. Uh, and so now I came home, I said, and I said, how was it? I said, it, it was fantastic. And you know what? I know, now know what I want to do for my hobby, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. And, and so I looked into it, and of course, I got information about the Society of American Magicians, joined the national, joined a local club. There's another uh, national organization, uh, IBM, which sounds impressive. I said, oh yeah, I'm a member of IBM, you know. But it's actually <laughs> not International Business Machine, it's International Brotherhood of Magicians. Oh, okay. And uh, so I joined that national, and they also have a local magic club. Uh, as some, someone said in, you know, magic, it's not the trick that gets the audience, it's the presentation. Mm -hmm. One additional question, though. As you have gotten into this hobby for 10 years, I understand now that you are going to teach a bit. Uh, this, is, this is true, and um, in part, my inspiration is a, is a magician in Wellesley, Gil Stubbs, who does a TV show called The World of Magic. I'm going to be teaching things like uh, magic with everyday objects, you know, for beginners. So, for example, I might say, you know, suppose you're, you go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts or something, and, you say, well, you know, I've got a couple of straws here, and what we're going to do is we're going to tie them in a knot. So, get a nice knot in here. There, yeah, there's, you can see that that's already there. And I'll take this one, cross it over, like this. Oh, and then we've got a kind of a big knot. Would you blow on that, please? But using a little magic, with your breath, no, no less, we're back to restoring the straws without the knot. Uh -huh. uh, so that kind of a, you know, that, that, that kind of a trick where you can do with ordinary objects. And it's going to be where? You're going to be doing this where? This is going to be at the, through the Situate Recreation Center. Uh -huh. It'll start the first Monday in January, run for five weeks, one hour a week. I think it's good for, for a person who gets into magic and just as they get older to keep their mind active and that is not only learning the trick uh, but looking at how it was done in the past and how might I do it now in a different way. So let me show you this one. Uh, <clears throat> originally it was called the Priest's Pearls uh, which took place in China with a uh, monk in a monastery and you know the pearls are over his neck and Robert wants to rob the pearls and starts strangling them and so forth. So. This is my modern take on that particular one, which, which is my own pattern. And, well, it, you know, I, I, uh, my wife and I went to New York over the weekend and I had this strange experience, well, we had, I had this experience that I'd like to share with you. 
uh, got to the hotel, and she said, now, did you remember to pack your toothbrush? I said, oh, yeah, sure. And I checked, oh, gosh, I don't know. She said, well, go over to CVS. Just cut through Central Park. So I went over to CVS through Central Park, and I'm coming back, and I hear behind me steps. And then, then running, I figure it's a jogger, I'm going to move out of the way. And I kind of look at my side, but I don't see any jogger. And the next thing I know that happens is I get a rope thrown over my neck. And then it's twisted once. And then it was twisted again. And I heard a voice say, give me your wallet or I'll strangle you. I didn't want to really given my wallet, you know, I had my credit cards in there, I had the tickets for the opera that night in there, my uh, return ticket on the train. So I said, what can I do? I said, hey, listen, I'm a magician, I'm, I'll do that and, and just tell him it, maybe he'll go away and I'll bluff a little bit too. So I said, listen, well, if you can stop this right now and nothing will happen to you. But you gotta watch out because you know, I'm a magician. I also know Kung Fu, Karate, Jiu Jitsu. And I practice Tai Chi, which is actually true. I do practice Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the only true thing here. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you that. So, I, voice, I heard the voice again and said, well, you're a wise guy, and I don't like wise guys. I'm going to strangle you anyways, and then take your wallet. So he pulled on the rope, and he pulled on the rope, and he pulled on the rope. It went right through my neck. So if somebody decided they wanted to get into this hobby, mm -hmm. uh, activity, Ooh, how would they do that? What would they need to do? The uh, SAM, Society of American Magicians, has a, um, a website as well. And, uh, you know, and, uh, and there's information on there about our local club. And you can also just type in uh, Magic SAM or Magic IBM and go to the Nationals and they'll tell you where, where the local club meets and so forth. So a person could, and what happens is sometimes people just show up. Well, thank you so much for oh, your time. We, we appreciate already? it. We really okay. appreciate uh, the insight and mm -hmm. we look forward to... Uh, to your interaction with uh, folks from Situate, hopefully at Situate Recreation. And I do, I hope so too, because it's, wish you um, all I, well. I'd really enjoy, you know, knowing that there's other people out there entertaining friends and family, even if they don't take it any further than that. Right. Uh, and that's, and that in a way, it's what a hobby is. You do something that you enjoy doing, and you hope to share the enthusiasm and the love you have for that with others in some way. Yeah, and perfect. that's one way to do that. That's perfect. Hey, well, thanks thank again. You. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank. Was that a great episode or not, huh? Kevin retires, looks for a hobby, falls into something that is fascinating, magic. And I love that line about IBM. So if you want to learn more about magic, go to the website, look for Magic IBM. That's the International Brotherhood of Magicians or the Society of American Magicians. And you'll learn more about how to become a magician yourself. So I want to thank Kevin and Mike for a great episode, and we look forward to seeing you again on SCTV. If you've got an idea for a show, what you should do is email us at sctv at situatema.gov. That's sctv at situatema.gov. And we look forward to seeing you next time. So have a nice morning or evening, whatever it is. See you. Myself for not going that way. What if I came your way on this particular day? Well, I want to know you. Will you let me know you? Let me take this chance to say. Just can't wait Let's go, let's go, let's go right now I feel like need like getting around Things like 
this they just can't wait She might just be that girl I never had Let's take a shot Cause it's all we really got In this life you never know 